All right, now M1 is now a level three thief, so I can up her fine traps to a hundred. I accept it. Now what I'm going to do is dual class her. What that means is, because she's a human, we and she has certain stats that let her. She can uh, dual. She can stop being a thief for a bit and take up something else. I mean, she's going to become a mage. So I'm going to dual class her into a mage because she has a high intelligence. So what this means is that she'll completely stop being a thief. She won't be, won't be able to do any thief skills or use any thief equipment, and she'll be a pure mage until her mage level exceeds her thief level, which in this case she'll have to get to level four in mage before she can use her thief um, skills again. So we're going to have to do without her being a thief for a bit. But we do have Varex and we do have Monteron, so it should be okay. Plus, I I, I trained her up in. Um, in uh, fine traps, and there aren't that many traps in the game. Um, there's only a few areas with them, and we're going to avoid them until she gets to the appropriate level. Um, so I'm going to train her up in sling. She can use slings, and done. She's now a mage, so she can uh, pick her spells, uh, her initial spells, and then afterwards she will she will have to uh, learn them from scrolls. So, um, right. One of the best spells in this game, especially in the early levels, is Sleep, so we're definitely going to have that. And I'm thinking maybe Spook as well. Um, these are both spells that, um, they don't do any damage, but they they dehabilitate your enemies. I think maybe Sleep and Spook might be a bit excessive, although I think I'm only going to be using Sleep for her initial levels anyway, so it doesn't make that much difference. Um, so yeah, that'll do. And then done. Dual class. She is now a mage, level 1, with zero experience. And a thief, she's level 3, but she's completely inactive, so I can't use her thief skills at all. As you can see, she can't use any equipment she was using as, as a thief. Um, I need to get her another sling. I don't have a spare sling, do I? Threw it away. <laughs> Clever me. Uh, but yeah, so we now have two mages. She can't cast any spells yet, because we haven't rested. Uh, I'll just get her spell book. Yeah, sleep. Um, and we're getting fatigued now, so we're going to have to rest. But we can't rest in this area because it's a miscellaneous little ambushy type area. The game engine won't let us rest here, I don't think. Um, we'll give it a go. No, we can't rest at this time. So we have to leave and go to High Hedge. When we get to High Hedge, we will probably take a rest. Although, then again, maybe not. <laughs> So you see that we're all getting uh, fatigued now, and you may have noticed that before he was a little bit injured, now he isn't because of his massive constitution. He, um, he regenerated. So now we're in High Hedge, so we're going to drop down a save here so we don't have to make that journey again. And do all that leveling up. Currently you have no equipment whatsoever, so I might as well give you a that. So everyone's pretty much going to be dead wood for a while, but we so low level it shouldn't matter. Uh, now skeletons are bad. Let's go through this little snicket first. Ow. We're just gonna have a little bit of... oh I was gonna say we're gonna have a little bit of difficulty dealing with these but um... M1 I'm gonna have to set your uh, script to ranged even though you have no ranged weapon so at least then you don't charge into combat with your quarter staff. Someone leveled up. No, oh, she's going to anyway. I'm going to have to put it to passive. So she only attacks if she's attacked. We get some war dogs coming, but these are very minor enemies. Plus, Montron leveled up, and I'm going to do that now, so he gets a bit of extra hit points. Um, we're not going to keep him as a thief, but because um, oh, I don't know what to uh, equip him with. We're not going to keep him in our main party. So his thief skills are relatively useless to us. We're just using him as a tank. Hmm. So maybe we can get some... Yeah, I'll put it in hiding shadows. Maybe we can get some backstabs going. Except he's in plate mail, so we won't be able to use that anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. But he's got the extra... Extra hit points now to deal with these blows that he's getting.
And these guys have nothing. Well, they have throwing daggers. Which actually Zar can use. So we might pick these up and use them. Since we can stack them. Zar will be better at these than his sling. And then we can give the sling to Imoen. Hey, that works. That's good. Drop the dagger. Nah, keep the dagger. She needs that for when she's a, th a thief again. Um, Alright, so we won a fight, so we're going to save. Um, I should rest, because my party's very tired, but we are only going to do this for a... We're only going to do a few things here. We're not going to stay here very long. And, um... I don't actually know where this short sword may be. Thinking about it. Alright, that's a null. Was it a null that, that stole his, um... Alright, you can go into ranged again. Short sword. Might have been. Go away, null. Thank you. <laughs> Go away! Go away! He's attacking Variax, so that's not so bad. We'll just have him go into melee. Don't attack him! Good! Bit of looting, I think. I got a scroll there, a scroll of something. I don't know what that is. I, th I think it's detect alignment, which is utterly useless. Now, Nulls rarely hit you, but they're armed with halberds, which do hefty damage, so I'm kind of wary about Nulls. But I don't think any of them had a short sword, did they? That's what I'm here for, isn't it? A short sword? Wait a minute. That was lucky. Awesome. Alright, we're going to investigate this tower as well. Because this is uh, where the mage lives, for the chicken. And there is also an NPC. A very good NPC. And I'm telling you now, I'm not going to have him in my party. Because this NPC is called Kyvan. He's an elven ranger. Hello. You're not him though, are you? Yes, that's him. Uh, more of an archer character. And I already have an archer in Variax. Kyvan will be a better archer than Variax, but having both of them... Uh, I, like, I do like having an archer in the party. Uh, but having two is excessive. But let's talk to him anyway. Hail. It is not often that I come across. I don't waste time on naive adventurers. Well that's rude. I mean we might be able to take him for a little bit. Um in my test run, when I played this through to make sure the mods were all working, uh, so I wouldn't have to get through halfway through an uh, an LP and then stop it because of corrupted mods or whatever. Uh I did take Kyvan and I really enjoyed playing with him in my party, but because I took him last time, I'm not gonna take him this time. Yes. He's not going to talk to us. What do you want? Don't bother me. Hmm, that's strange. He's not being very friendly, is he? Yes. Well, maybe it's because our reputation is so low. He won't. Um, he won't entertain us because he's a good kind of alliance character. Um, so that's probably what it is. He's heard about us. He's heard that we kill guards and uh, kill people in pubs, so he's not... Ooh, Kino's not too bad. More throwing daggers for Zar, which suits him a lot better anyway. But that's okay, we weren't going to take Kyvan anyway. I might have taken him for a little bit, but I do like his character, like as a as a person, I, I do like his character and he has a very good uh, storyline added by the uh, by the NPC mod to make him a bit more interesting. Um, so he was quite a good character to have. So I would feel quite bad about abandoning him. Um, Give me some direction. Don't ask me how he's carrying 132 daggers with him. <laughs> I don't know. It just makes the game easy to play. Okay? <laughs> Alright. 